thank you for inviting me for this for this presentation for this uh, policy forum. I'm sorry I couldn't be there. I had to to cancel my trip because I got a, a really really strong flu. I mean I, I'm still with some some problems with my my throat. But well, I will start by thanking Terry for the introduction. That will help me a lot, you know, because for sure our project will work with the. Uh, with the All Atlantic Ocean Research Alliance in the future, you know? And then I will talk about the Blue Mission AA. I will start uh, by uh, showing you some slides about the mission Restore Our Ocean and Waters by 2030. And um, uh, first, there is, a, going straight to the subject, there is implementation plan that uh, focus on three main areas in these missions. Uh, the, the first one is to protect and restore marine and freshwater ecosystems and biodiversity. The second objective is to prevent and eliminate pollution of our ocean, seas, and waters. And the third, make the sustainable blue economy carbon neutral and circular. These three objectives are all interlinked and they also supported by what the European Commission called uh, enablers. The first one is uh, uh, digital ocean and water knowledge systems. We know this is more commonly as a uh, ocean digital twin. And also a very large effort for public uh, mobilization and engagement. One of the main areas of interest of the implementation of the mission will be these the participation of stakeholders and citizens in all levels of decision during the implementation of the mission. Well, the mission is divided in two different uh, phases. The first phase is the piloting phase from 2021 to 2025, and it, five different lighthouses will be rolled in a major sea and river basins. The second phase will be the deployment and scale up and replication of the successful solutions from the first phase. And these actually the lighthouse, you can imagine like a like a like a a light that will illuminate your path for for to solve the current problems in the ocean. You know the four basins are the Atlantic and the Arctic, Baltic and North Seas. Mediterranean and the Danube River. We, I mean, let's say we are now coordinating the CSA for the for the Atlantic and Arctic. That's very challenging to link up to two different communities, and each lighthouse will be, uh, let's say, composed by one coordination and supporting action. That's the one that I present a little bit more, and two innovation actions. Uh, these two innovation actions were all approved together. It's a package. You can see the lighthouse like a, a single project with three different instances. Uh, so the Blue Mission AA will link, as I said before, I mean, the Atlantic Ocean and also, I mean, the Arctic. And we'll focus on the mission objective one. Each one of these four basins we will focus on a different objective. We will focus on objective one, that is to protect and restore marine and freshwater ecosystems and biodiversity. Specifically, we will focus on restoration of marine and coastal ecosystems and increase climate resilience. You know, we, of course, if you find opportunities to engage stakeholders in the other two objectives, we will do that and link up with the other uh, lighthouses, but uh, we will focus on mission objective one. The lighthouse from the Mediterranean will focus on marine pollution. The lighthouse from the Danube will focus on freshwater ecosystems. And the lighthouse from Baltic and North Sea will focus on carbon neutral uh, blue economy. And uh, for the for the mission, put very clear targets for each one of these areas. Our uh, objective has uh, specific tar targets of protect at least thirty percent and strictly protect ten percent of uh, European sea areas. 
and also to contribute to the marine and nature restoration targets. That's our focus. All of our work will be focused on these specific targets. I mean, the, our consortium includes all big players in the Atlantic and also in the Arctic, Air Center, Marine Institute, Iframer, ICES, NIVA from Norway, MARE, FRCT from Azores, IPMA from Portugal, PLOCAN, where you are sitting right now, I guess, and, and a CPMR from Hofer, AVI, SPI, CNR, SDU from, from, from Denmark, and also UCC. So this big consortium will work on five different areas. The first area will be the creation of a lighthouse community of practice, uh, where we want to link not only with uh, between the different lighthouses and also the mission implementation uh, structure, but also with other projects, like for example, the All Atlantic Ocean Research and Innovation Alliance and other projects that are running or will be running the next future. Then we will try to create uh, uh, innovation ecosystems to help, let's say, transforming the alternative business of ecological restoration in the mainstream business for the future. And of course, this, the, the, there is a very important part in terms of engaging stakeholders in, in, all, the, in all Europe. And uh, so going, uh, just summarizing, what we, we want to expect to produce, we, our kickoff meeting will be on November 23rd. It will be a lasting governance framework for the Atlantic and Arctic together, and a robust monitoring framework to assess the implementation of the mission objectives and targets, a catalog of technical and business support services. In fact, PLOCAN is the, uh, is the leader of this work package. Also, scale, we will implement uh, uh, Atlantic and Arctic innovation ecosystem to attract investors, funders, donors, business, and entrepreneurs focused on ecological restoration. And of course, we will involve citizens in all the stage from code design, code deployment, but also co-monitoring the results of the, the project. So this is the Blue Mission uh, At Atlantic and Arctic CSA in a nutshell. I mean, we will start, as I said before, on November 23rd, and we expect we will be uh, discussing and exploring synergies and uh, ways of collaboration with you very soon. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. I can see Mohamed has uh, the hand raised. Uh, maybe we can uh, uh, open his uh, microphone. Mohamed, if you have some, you have some comments. comments. Yes, yes, yes. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? We do. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for the invitation, and uh, it will talk very, very, very interesting uh, this discussion and this relevant uh, presentation. I hope that my presentation was quite clear for you. And what I want to mention here that, as mentioned by. Uh, one participant the challenge now is to uh, make together the efforts from the north and from the south in order to protect the ocean in the case of Mauritania, uh, for example we are now facing many challenges uh, linked to the development of gas oil and uh, mining activities which are potentially polluted and uh, we hope to establish uh, a national strategy uh, to uh, organize and and uh, uh, to uh, the, to um, uh, to rise uh, the uh, the involvement of all stakeholders in the, the protection and of of the ocean. So I think that this kind of discussion. This is a framework of exchange are very, very, very relevant for us. And from our side, we are very interested by uh, 
to continue uh, such discussion and to make synergies by all, uh, all by all projects uh, mission atlantic uh, with uh, westmed initiative and all the all the uh, initiative uh, organized by all the all the stakeholders like FAO and World Bank. So in, in, in our side, we are very interested to continue with you this discussion in order to uh, uh, to find the best way to, pro to protect the ocean. And thank you uh, again thank you. for the invitation. Thank you, Thank you Mohamed. Actually, you, you have summarized it better than I can do because that was exactly my conclusion as well, that these type of discussions are indeed very much needed. And I think the idea of the meeting here was also to convey the message that there are maybe through these uh, clusters, uh, the possibility to already have uh, um, a framework within which discussion can occur. And through the use of, uh, uh, of promoting these research and innovation alliances, we also have maybe the the political willingness to 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 have this discussion occurring at uh, at all scales and uh, i understand clearly from uh, both from you from mauritania but also from uh, tarub uh, that provided us the, the overview uh, across different countries in this region and especially from our guests from babakar and ismaili here that this type of discussions are indeed very much needed and the challenges that you have i mean they can the management of these complex systems it's something that uh, needs to be done in a careful way. So this is the critical moment to do the discussions. And this is the critical moment also to try to identify solutions that are sustainable for everyone. So I'm sorry for that uh, all uh, technical problems here have uh, kind of cut us short our meeting, but uh, I promise you to make an effort to have this meeting again uh, in uh, presence so that uh, not only uh, we can discuss uh, in uh, with presentations, but also go deeper into some of these challenges and try to identify maybe first steps towards the solutions. So thank you everyone, those online and those participating here. Sorry again for these uh, technical issues, but um, I think the message went across quite clear. Thank you everyone, bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.